This year's VidCon was one of my favorite conferences I've ever attended. Just so many things about it made me so excited about online video and so happy to be part of this community. I brought my sister Danielle along with me this time. She didn't know a whole lot about the YouTube community and she was meeting most of my friends for the first time, which was actually really fun. I love getting to introduce my family to this weird and wonderful world I work in and it was also great to spend a few solid days with her since we don't see each other very often anymore. I had the opportunity to participate in a whole lot of VidCon programming this year, which I really loved, and there was so much variety in the things I was invited to do. I hosted some of the open mic, introducing some really talented musicians on the outdoor festival stage. I spoke on panels and a workshop alongside some of my longtime friends and YouTube colleagues I've admired for years. I even had the opportunity to perform a song I wrote about being a creator to an entire audience of YouTube creators, which was one of the most emotional powerful moments of my life. After that, I just got off stage and broke down. Because no matter how long I waited for someone to tell me that what I do is important and that I am good enough and that I need to do what I love even when other people don't understand it, I'm not sure that I ever really accepted that until I heard my own voice singing it back to me on that stage. Actually, it felt like every time I turned around at VidCon, I encountered another reminder that this is what I need to be doing, that the sacrifices I've made have been worth it, that I am exactly where I need to be. Even though I've been making videos here for almost 10 years, I still end up doubting myself, running out of ideas, wondering if I've made all of the right decisions. But VidCon cleared all of that up for me in a matter of minutes. At this conference, I was never made to feel like my audience hasn't grown fast enough, or like I'm not worth someone's time just because they don't recognize my face. And that brought my confidence back. I think we all knew that we were surrounded by people just like us, and if we just said hello and asked about someone's work, we'd open ourselves up to meeting so many brilliant creatives. I feel incredibly lucky to have found a place where I can not only share my work with people who love it, but also be part of a living, breathing community, having real conversations and collaborating with each other. I'm actually working on a bunch of the videos I filmed with my friends while I was there, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. I came home from VidCon this year feeling so loved and respected and just energized by this community's enthusiasm and creativity and I can't wait to go back next year. I want to send out the biggest thank you ever to Laura and the rest of the VidCon team, to Hank and John, and to you guys for supporting me and believing in me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.